Hello, my name is Adredden, and we are back in Seven Days to Die, Alpha 16.3, in my main playthrough, and I am back up here at the garden, and I am really hoping to get this sorted out. Now, what I have done is taken out all the plants here. And um, I tried to record an episode, but it didn't record for some reason. Some settings I was trying, and it didn't work. So anyway, one of the things I did in that one was try to put the dirt here, just to see what it would look like. And you know what? I like it. So I will be doing more of this. Um, so, I think a few little things are that I probably need, um, hmm. let's see here, I guess because I have a shy ton of these things, um, I don't really need any more, but I guess we can maybe make a couple more just for, just for fun. Um, these ones. Let me see here. Anyway, um, one of the things I wanted to do with this that was different was... Hopefully no stupid zombies spawned in here. No. Happy right now. Um... Because this doesn't look as good as that, right? So I do like the look of this for sure. Um, but this not so much. So I was curious what would happen if I were to put this upside down. Da -da 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 -da. I was actually gonna paint that. Maybe what I'll do instead is um, go plate and try a concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This way there's a little bit more structure to it. Uh, we don't need that. We're ready to build a whole ton of stuff this week. Um, I know there was a lot of um, action this last week or so. I don't know. People seem to basically like it, I think. Though, I know I need to finish this build fairly soon. And you. And one more. There. That should look all right. I almost think it would be good to put another one in for a different kind of look. Um, so there wasn't some sort of like strange gable-y corner thing that kind of came out. But maybe um, the arch blocks? That would kind of look cool. I don't know. I'll play around with that a bit. Anyway, let's see how this looks instead of that. Oh, this is cobblestone. Yeah, the flagstone was much better, I think. Hmm. Shoot. That's lame. I wasn't really paying that much attention, I guess, when I made those ones. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. That definitely looks better. But this makes more sense. Um, well dang it, I'm going to have to freaking break these down, or put them somewhere. I'll put these as reinforcements on the outer walls of maybe these things. That would look kind of cool. That would give them uh, that castle-y cobblestone look. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Maybe that's even why I made most of those. It's been a couple days and I've jumped into a few other series, so I'm a little, little bit... Um, off with that kind of stuff, so. Flagstone plates, so if I have 
Dent Oh, I need 25 for a number of these. So, craft 25, 25, and 23. And we'll save those for another location. Okay. Good. Um, I left my pick downstairs. No, it's right here. Gotta repair this sucker. Um, right, that was another thing I was gonna say. I am going to maybe go over to the bookstore and I'm going to quote learn how to make auger parts. Um, I believe my science skill is pretty high because I've been in there and reading all the books, you know, everything I can get about science. I know everything's from, you know, quantum tunneling, um, and their phases of electrons of bonding and anti-bonding, uh, to the phylum genus kingdoms of all the organisms there are, um, the difference between angiosperms and gymnosperms. I know. Hmm, what else do I know? So much science. Uh, all the uh, constants of the universe and how they're changing, such as the alpha constant. Um, the relationship of magnetars. Gamma ray bursts. Um, all the different types of chemistry. All the goodies. Um, I'm going to use that knowledge, I believe, to make me. I don't know if I can do it now, but I have science 10. So everything from M theory down to quantum theory, everything in between. Social sciences, psychology, computer sciences, electronics, everything. My character knows all of it because he's got perfect science skills. So, uh, the next thing, do it yourself. Ten points, boom, buy it. I am going to make myself some freaking auger parts. I'm going to set up a special forge and a work table just for it. And I'm going to do that. And I'm gonna pay it, I don't know. What's fair, guys? 10 steel for auger parts? 100? Whatever. I'll pay 100. Just because I want the dang auger parts. Because I need to get things done. Right? I need to um, build walls and stuff, and I need to do it, you know, soon. This area is. has to have a conclusion. So, that will be happening soon. Um, yes, so, but I will also be buying, uh, let's see here, the last levels of, um, uh, mm -hmm. well, I need to do my barter, so I'm going to do an episode where I bring a bunch of concrete and machetes, sorry, I thought I heard some zombies down below, um, to the trader, but I need to get this up to 80, so I need to do that first step. Then I can buy the next level of secret stash. And so anyways, I have a bit of skill points to get, but whatever, that's not a problem. Um, but I still want that so that I can get a bunch of solar equipment, you know? Though, in theory, you know, the um, photoelectric effect is, you know, just another piece of quantum theory that Einstein and sort of proved and whatnot. So, you know, all that sciencey goodness. Um, you know, using carbon dioxide, or, well, carbon in its raw form, actually, just take the uh, molecules of oxygen out of silicon dioxide to make oc or, uh, silicon wafers, you know, just need a special crucible kind of deal for that to uh, melt the silicon, and then you just put the carbon in there and wait for it all to come out and whatnot, and then you get your solar, you get your, you know, your silicon, and then you can turn that into your uh, wonderful, wonderful, um, anyways, I think I have enough of these now. <laughs> okay, enough chatting about science. Um, let's copy this. 
to make solar panels. So in theory, that could happen too, where I just have to make it. I didn't actually click it. Click. There we go. Let's see if this looks absolutely terrible. I really don't think it looks as good. Something about that recessed look that makes it look really good. There we go. Let's take a look at that from over here. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not as nice as this, though. Yeah. Hmm. But on the surface, like on the in the actual garden, um, I do. I think that uh, it looks better. The other thing, I guess, that we could do is put a whole second layer of concrete up here. Uh, giving it an interesting look. Hmm. Let's try that here. Worst that happens is I have a nice little wall here. I was going to build a retaining wall anyway. Just in case, so you know, the families that come and live here eventually in my wonderful locale. Um have a nice place to hang out. This would actually kind of be cool if it was um, ramps, maybe? Because I think I want some of these to just be sort of standard um, places to go up and, uh, you know, like a nice little veranda with some nice chairs and stuff. That would be kind of nice. I've got uh, a fair bit of space here. I need to finish the roof on one, two, these two sections, plus this one. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Boom. Um, where's my... Okay, anyways, we're all good with that. I think this might give us the best of both worlds. The uh, best look on the top and the best look below. It's a little bit excessively wasteful on... Um, some things, but oh yeah, that is, I like that much better, because it looks like now like a nice little retaining wall, nice little raised garden, which is a pretty popular thing I think right now, yeah, that's what I'm going to do I think, I don't really know how many of these, yeah, yeah, that's definitely the, the look. Boom, boom, boom. And it looks like we're gonna make another like level up there too, eh? So I will be doing something with that. Let's finish off this area. We get kind of a better look at this whole thing here. Just the last one of those. You. And voila, and one, how many of these things are there? Four of them. Man, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll look pretty cool. This looks nice, I think. Nice enough. Um, let's see, we need 25 seeds, recipes, potato seeds, 25. Yeah, okay, so I think, uh, let's see, if this one is a nice little deck area, then I'll put a nice little planter here that will continue on, I think, over to this one. Oh, what about some nice uh, cobblestone, cobblestone or flagstone? Uh, let's check. Stairs, flagstone stairs, let's do three. And what about uh, cobble? No. Stone stairs. Flagstone, wet concrete. Brick, brick could look nice. I could always paint them later. Can I not do cobblestone stairs? Is that not a thing? Huh, alrighty. That's fine. 
We'll do flagstone stairs then. Um, there they are. I'll right, we'll put those there like that. Go all the way around this one. I will dig this one up off camera because, well, it's not that interesting, but. What I can do is put mortar on the top part and do it that way. Hmm. Now, I kind of want a nice little separator between plant types. Like that. Cool. Um, I think, let's see here, dirt would be in this one? No, that's where my fertilizers are. Dirt. Perfect. And did I bring... No, oh, but I think I have one. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Weird. Okay. All my hoes are downstairs. So I can't actually upgrade it. I have to put a walkway out here. But I think by the time things get up this high, it's not really that big of a problem. So it might be nice to put some crenellations up here. Um, that way, things, uh, you know, you could still have snipers up here. <laughs> I don't know why exactly, but, well, no, you, you, I know why. I mean, like, seriously, like, if someone were to capture these two towers, but not the keep, you'd, you know, I guess you would be in trouble. You know, even a crenellation would be pretty hard to stop you from up here. You'd need, like, a, a really tall crenellation, but... Um, you know, you'd still be able to, like, sniper down from, like, say, up here, right? And fire out into this field there or something. Though with modern artillery and whatnot, yeah, yeah, I know. So, anyway, uh, let's get... This is the wrong one. I wanted uh, these guys. There we go. I don't really have a plan for what goes planted and what, but I guess the components of the meat stew need to go first. I almost feel like I need two to one potatoes, but on the other hand, and potatoes are pretty much one of the least of the worries because it is um, hardly a problem. The biggest problem is getting all of the meat, right? So. Grass is gonna grow here. Dun, 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 dun. Not that one, thank you. Dig, dig, dig. Come on, one more. Boop. All right. And let's see here. Does this look any good? Hmm. Um. Is there an ins what is it? Would be, would be an inside corner block stair? <laughs> I don't know if that ex even exists. It's like the opposite of this one. Um, flagstone wedge stair. Oh, what? I gotta see this block. This could be cool. I never knew that this existed. Uh oh, too many things. Now I've done it. Um, I have wood for days. But let's put, on a more serious note, this dirt back. There. And let's see if we can pick this, these back up now. Okay. So. Huh. Interesting. Um. Hmm. One, two. Nice, a nice little slope for those. That's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to actually keep up here, but um, I don't know. If, it, if I don't like it, I'll just rip it out one day. Renovation time, you know? Mm, yeah, I like that. It looks nice. And on this side, I don't know, we'll try these guys here. 
uh, on the outside. I was thinking on the maybe here. Opinions? I don't know. Go on. Yeah, let's walk up there like that. That's not bad. Or walk up these bigger ones like this. Also nice. Okay, cool. It's a nice little break from, uh, you know, having to deal with zombies down below there. A nice little uh, garden where I, you know, can just relax and calm down and not worry about the stresses of everyday life. Okay, um, yeah, so we will plant all of these things soon. I'm gonna have to run downstairs super quick to grab a bunch of... Um, oh yeah, I guess I can do this here. Do I want these? I think I want these to be full windows. Uh, I have enough outdoor space, so... One, two... Three, four, five, six. That's how tall these are, I believe. Let's not break my leg. Ugh. Put two down, that way I can go to the three, four, five, six. I think that's right. So I can uh, not, you know, so I have a less chance of breaking my leg by jumping down there. One, two. This one is too high. Three, four, five, and six. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's right, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, so um, let's see here. Putting up all these. Now let's get that done. Uh, let's upgrade these. Feels so good to actually like get some stuff built, you know? Um, it's like there are times when like not much goes up and it's just like, okay, come on, something's gotta be done here. I've got a lot of the rubble out of these levels like cleared out, so we're gonna have to go and build this into a cool thing. I don't quite know what though. We'll get to it. Um, I'm kind of curious though, like, how many, if you're a builder, maybe contact, like put comment down in the um, comments there, because I'd love to know how many, what the ratio of like people who like building versus people who like uh, action is for my channel, um, so I can sort of keep that a little bit more balanced for you guys. Otherwise, like, cause, I mean, this particular game, I would love to transition this one to mostly just me building, and then at some point I will have a pretty cool looking castle for my build of Alpha 16. And if people want to see it, that's great, that's perfect. But if people are more interested in just um, like survival and action, I can go that way. I've got my true survival um, series, plus, I mean, it takes quite a while to do the. Um, See, one of these was construction. This one? Yeah. Um, shoot, I lost my words for that particular thing. Um, yeah, it takes quite a while to do all the, the work, right? So, you know, I don't mind coming back at in between things. And, oh, yeah, but it takes a lot of time to do the work, like I said just now. And. Occasionally need breaks, right? It's nice to be able to go and um, kill some zombies, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I think of it. And I'm gonna make. Let's see, this is building supplies. So this is where this. Uh, no, 
Uh, no, because I need lots of these downstairs. Okay. Let's put it on a roof. I need, um... Nine more of these, maybe? Okay. Flagstone half block. Really? Come on. Flag. Don't half blocks. There we go. Um... Maybe you do four of these? No, because I need to do something with the windows. Because you can't put, like, a combined thing where the like, glass is inside the arch, which is kind of sad. I mean, there is an arch for that, but it's not the flagstone one, so I'd have to paint it. Um, or maybe it's the brick? Uh, I don't know. No, I think it's wood. I'm pretty sure it's a wooden one. Um, I think it's nine of these. I'm up here. Things will probably happen and it'll be terrible. Is it window? No. I wonder if it's a creative block. Uh, da, 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 da. It's probably a creative block. I'll probably have to spawn them in or mod them in. Either way, that's okay. Fine. Two more. Okay. Rotate. And I'll put a little, probably, I, I have an idea of what I want on top, but I don't know if I'm act. Damn you! Actually gonna build it. Or not. help that the game is bad and that the mouse is really like sensitive so like if I'm I'm blaming myself because like if I'm not paying attention then it's what happens right like I'm going too fast I don't compensate be more patient with the dang game and make sure that the mouse is not moving around okay I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna grab a vault hatch and um, a hoe and a bed and see if I have to deal with any more zombies down below. No, they get off of there. So be right back. There. So there's still gonna be sleepers that's probably spawn right there, which is the most absolute ridiculous thing there could possibly be. I mean, there's no more zombies coming down from space, um or airplanes or anything. I mean it's been long enough. Well, you know what? Maybe that's not true. There are airdrops that fly by. They might pick up a zombie along the way. Okay, fine. Yeah, maybe there's going to be a sleeper up here, but it'll, you would think it would have its legs broken if it were to land up here. But you know what? It's not impossible to happen. All right. That's fine. I will still accept that maybe occasionally there's a sleeper up here. But all in all... It's pretty ridiculous to think that any sort of sleeper could be up here. Okay, um, let's see. Or do I want it over in this area? Oh, I should have made like two freaking. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make like kind of a giant one two, three of these. Yeah, that'll be much but nicer. I mean, it doesn't quite work, but I think it does be, it'd be pretty cool. Right, let me make this happen. Oh, um, and let's see here. I don't know, did I mention about these guys? I think it didn't record. Um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, these are, are kind of cool. Put these in here, help me defend these little um, things here, plus whatever is crossing the bridge. Nice little arrow slots. But of course, this way would be bad. It looks really good and works really well, I think, for um, um, us in the game. But in reality, it would be really dumb because, like, an arrow or a bullet 
ricocheting off steel would ricochet right into you, which would suck, uh, versus this, which doesn't quite look as nice in my opinion, but it's definitely better. Uh, because you, but you can still kind of move back and forth, but I think it's, the problem is that, yeah, these walls here are kind of silly. But this one gives me a nice clear shot on any of those guys. Down there. And... No, this one doesn't. Some of these ones you can kind of get shots. You would be able to get shots down there. Plus, I think, you know, there'll be some sort of articulation above them or something so that I can fire down a little bit more precisely. But anyways, I'm going to get the gate on this side belt or like a door and then that'll be good um, just waiting for some business glass okay guys yeah so I'm gonna do uh, this so we have I'm gonna pretend that this is all one gigantic bed but you know <laughs> this is my best approximation I'll put a little bed over here just in case I want to like sit down and uh, you know look up with the open air and skies nice relax there and over here, I uh, went and uh, did it this way. So yeah, nice glass, some business glass, so we can take a look up through the stars at night. And uh, yeah, that'd be pretty awesome, I think. So that's that. Um, if you liked today's episode, give it a like. Um, perhaps share it if you thought it was interesting. And if you want to see more videos by me, hit the subscribe button. And um, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye. Yeah, next episode we might go into there. I don't know. I think so. On the other hand, I might go over here and make myself auger parts. But there's lots of chemicals and stuff in here. It's probably a whole machine shop. Yeah. Or we could go to the factory. That probably, in theory, in reality, would have all the things.